Hey folks, welcome back to Smoky and Dress Variety Show. We're in the kitchen today making our low-carb snickerdoodle cheesecake bars. Very simple recipe, very delicious, only a few carbs per serving. Now we start out making the crust. We have one and a half cups of almond flour and a fourth of a cup of our brown sugar swerve. We just think this is amazing. It tastes and measures just like brown sugar and it's just as sweet. And of course we have our almond flour. From there we're gonna add uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of baking soda to our mixture. Okay, and then last but not least for the crust, we're going to add two tablespoons of melted butter. We're going to mix this up until it comes out crumbly, and then we're going to go ahead and um, press it into our little pan. We're using an 8 by 8 pan, and we sprayed it already with some cooking spray. All right, so we're going to mix this up, and we'll be right back. All right, so there we have it. We've stirred it for about a couple minutes and it looks very, um, looks like little tiny pea-sized granules. So we'll empty that into our pan. Again, our eight by eight pan. And I forgot to mention, we also preheated the oven to 325 degrees. All right, so now we're just gonna press the crust into the pan until it comes out nice and even. And then from there, we'll start our cheesecake filling. There we go, we have the crust pressed into the pan and now we're gonna make our cheesecake filling. So we have uh, two blocks of cream cheese. Uh, I softened it for a minute in the microwave just to get it easier to work with. It's uh, 16 ounces. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in another third of a cup of the brown sugar swerve. We're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna add two eggs. And then we're also gonna add two egg whites. So I separated the egg whites. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and mix on low, or actually, I'm sorry, we're gonna mix on medium, just until everything is well blended, probably about 30 seconds or so. Okay. And then about 30 seconds. Everything looks very well blended. then and then we're going to use our spoon and we're just going to scrape around the edges just to make sure we have everything everything mixed together all right we poured in our cheesecake filling into our pan and we're going to sprinkle a topping over it again one third cup of the brown sugar swerve and then two teaspoons of cinnamon i just mixed it together so we're going to take this and we're going to slowly sprinkle it over the top of our batter Try to do it slowly and carefully so it doesn't end up all over the, the counter. That's usually my M.O. Okay, there we go. Mm. All right, and then we'll place this in the oven for 20 minutes. In you go, into the spa. There we go, and we'll be back in 20 minutes. All right, so it was supposed to take 20 minutes to cook. It took quite a bit longer today. New new place, new oven. It took about an hour. Uh, and when you take it out, it should only jiggle a little bit like this is doing instead of being completely liquidy like it was before. So we'll take out the oven and we'll let it cool. All right, so let it cool about 20 minutes or so. Here we go, we waited about two hours. Uh, just to make sure that everything had solidified, and boy, the house smells so delicious in here. Anywho, so here's our little, um, our bar. It came out very tasty. So for other recipes, follow us at Amazon.com and purchase our book, Smoky and Giraffe's Low Carb Kitchen Recipes. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. From our kitchen to yours, mwah!